So just to talk a little bit about the model, um, this is a 13 inch, which is peanut size, obviously not rubber, but a twin electric using two toy coreless 6mm motors, they're not actually drone motors, they're toy motors from eBay, a couple of quid, three quids worth I think from China. Um, they, you can get more powerful motors but they seem to be a good compromise. Um, they're being run off a 100 milliamp one cell lipo which is pretty much the smallest you can charge with a, um, a full size cheap electric charger which is an advantage. Um, they are just wired in parallel into the Peterborough timer which is the etched circuit board version. Um, it has a potentiometer on it and a push button. The push button starts the time and the pot sets the time so you can have anything well, it depends on the size of the capacitor. I think this one is up to about 55 seconds. And I'll just show you how it works. So you press the, the button and it starts the motors. So you get a gentle rundown for a few seconds. The main advantage over a capacitor model is that one, you can use LiPo and charge it um, if you have that set up already. Um, two is you get full power for the length of the run, um, whereas a capacitor is always winding down. So you get full power, but then also that decay period of probably about 30% of the run is that decay period. So it helps you transition into the glide. There isn't much of a glide on these because the props free wheel and um, it's a lot of drag so it's not a glider really, it's a powered model with a, a sharpish descent. Um, but the layout is, is all scale surfaces, it has a trim tab aileron and a trim tab rudder and I've actually discovered that it's um, very sensitive to roll but I think it may be because the battery is offset by so much as 3.5 grams battery and it's probably enough to, it probably needs a, a bit of blue tack to balance it up laterally. I haven't weighed this one, but I expect it's about 18, 19 grams. I'm going to go home and weigh it. Um, but it's certainly proved that the little Peterborough etched circuit board push-button version of the timer is, is worth pursuing. And hopefully there will be some full fuselage-scale models in the future. Uh, one of the downsides is that you can't set the power. So it's full power um, for a short time, but obviously you can get uh, profilers that do that, but they're obviously a little more sophisticated and heavier but so far I think it's been a success and it's certainly a lovely day to be out playing with toy planes